Yes, okay. I'm gonna just type it real quick. Okay, so here we are, we're in the studio, um, this is not our studio, this is the radio studio that we do, uh, the uh, LP iHeartRadio, I'm, I'm probably going to be here for a while, uh, just so you guys know, um, I um, I do, what we do is we have like a, a, an online radio thing on iHeartRadio, and um, it's got like a, a lot of uh, content, loops, music, um, if you need the, um, what is the, do uh, you guys know what the URL for it is? You don't know the URL? You can actually go to linkinpark.com and um, let's see, where is it? It's under, if you go to the home page, I'm looking at it right now so I'll give you the right instructions. If you go to the home page of, of linkinpark.com and go under music, you can click on Lincoln Park Radio, and there it is. So then you'll get to, um, so go to um, LincolnPark.com, and on the main main navigation, you'll see music, and you can go to radio. And you'll get the iHeart Radio station. Our little radio widget is on the right-hand side. Um, that's, uh, that's how you can listen to it. Uh, you're not going to be able to listen to what we're doing right now until they edit it and cut it up because it is actually a pre it's all pre-taped that's just how iHeartRadio uh that's how we do our thing with iHeartRadio because we don't um we don't broadcast live uh this is Justin hey what's up Justin what up that's Justin right there Justin is our uh faithful engineer for today and um so yeah so we're it's just the two of us in here I texted Joe and Chester to see if they want to call in to talk. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen. But, you know, you guys are just watching how we do it. So I've got a long list of, um, of uh, our agenda, and I'm going to run it down. Uh, if you guys have questions, I'm actually going to go on the air. I may talk to you this way. But here's the deal. Um, in a little bit, in a few minutes... I'm going to give you guys the phone number for the station here, or for this phone line, and uh, you are going to get to call in, and uh, you know, a couple of you guys are going to get to talk to me. I don't know how many I'm going to do, but um, I've got space for like, you know, a handful of new uh, uh, talk pieces for this, so um, I'll talk to some of you guys today. So I'm not going to give you the... Uh, I'm not going to give you the phone number right now, but um, yeah, it's it works whether you're in the U.S. or you're in, you know, Australia. You can call, I mean, as long as you don't mind the, it, I don't imagine I'm going to keep you on hold for that long, but you never know. Um, okay, so how are we doing on the, um, oh, is this a different number? Uh, for Joe and Chester, I'll give them a different number. Oh, okay. Oh, for them to call in. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. That's smart. Um, okay, so, by the way, the funny thing, um, funny thing about this studio is actually that it's Nikki Six's studio, Motley Crue's Nikki Six, so he's, um, this is like, uh, it's got his, like, little logos on it, his logos on it and stuff, um, yeah, so that's kind of funny, it's like, um, I guess whenever he's not using it, we're, other people are allowed to use it to record stuff. Only you. Uh, only me. Um, so, thanks. Make sure they can't see this. Either one of these is good? Both, yeah. They're both good? Okay, so if they, either of these guys text me, then we'll do it. Okay, um. They'll bring on the bottom. What's up? If they call those, they'll bring on the bottom two lines. The bottom two, 11 yeah. and 12. Okay. 11 and 12. Um, okay, I'll tell you guys what. Let's, what, you can answer, you can ask, um, some questions. Go ahead and ask some questions. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just looking at your questions. Oh, you're so, you're asking a lot of stuff.
I pause this chat thing? If so, I don't know how to. Yeah, it moves really fast. Um, let me see if there's... Okay, there's that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Um... You guys just there's some really funny questions. Um Okay, I'm just gonna um I'll just kinda intro it. Okay. You got you rolling? Yeah. Hey what's up you guys? It's Mike. Uh we're here on Lincoln Park Radio. Uh today we're gonna be uh doing some different stuff. I'm on right now I'm on the uh, Lincoln Park underground uh chat room as I'm recording this and uh that's at LincolnParkUnderground.com. Uh if you're a member of the LPU, you can um, you can chat uh, with each other, sometimes with the band. And right now, I'm in the chat room. We're doing a little video chat. So the you know, the folks, uh, right now, there's 188 people in the chat room, and they can see what I'm up to, and they can see me recording this right now. So we're going to get into some, uh, some, some questions from them, talking about, uh, you know, maybe new music, maybe shows, uh, music for relief. And it looks like you guys have some other questions. So... Uh, We'll get into some of that, might get into some calls, and we'll see if uh, Chester or Joe call me back or text me back, because I just texted those guys asking if they wanted to, if they were available today to get on. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's get into some new music. This is Lincoln Park Radio. Do that. Um, okay, so that'll be uh, first piece. Can you mark these? As, um, like, that, that's like piece number one. Okay, so this you, was uh, that ended at four minutes. LPU chat intro. Ended at four minutes. That was LPU chat intro. Um. Okay. All right, we're back. It's Mike uh, Lincoln Park Radio. Uh, that was I think it's called Rai Rai. It has M I A on the track. The funny thing about these this music is that I I if, if this was was my channel i would just be playing the um explicit versions of these songs but i got a, a, an email back from uh some of the folks that help us put the station together and they said uh you know we can't play a bunch of the songs on your playlist because we can't find clean versions and i'm like why do you need clean versions i forgot that they had to to bleep stuff um but it's all good they eventually they found the clean version of that song which is great and um i like that track um so we're uh, right now as i'm talking i'm on the um i'm on online I'm on the LP Underground uh, um, chat in the LP Underground chat room. Uh, for those of you that don't know about the LPU, uh, it's a fan, Lincoln Park fan club slash um, you know uh, organization. That's it's not it's not just like super duper fans who like follow the band around and like think about Lincoln Park every day. Although there's some of you guys that uh, <laughs> scare me a little bit <laughs> and actually do that kind of thing. Um, and you know, but I mean, there's all different types of people. Obviously, I, I joke, but there's all that different types of people in the LPU. Uh, and I'm talking to uh, about a hundred and almost. Almost, almost 200 of them uh, right now in the chat room. We're on video. Um, I'd start saying your names, but a lot, most of your screen names are like really, I, I wouldn't even know where to start with pronouncing them. I see a Hillary in there. I see a Shea Adams in there. Lincoln Park Maria, No Name Crew. What's up, you guys? Okay, so anyway, the um, we're going to get into some questions about them. Actually, a couple of people asked about... Um, why we play certain songs and certain shows or why we don't play certain song, songs and shows. Like specifically somebody asked um, why we didn't play uh, One Step Closer in Moscow. Are we going to play uh, Blackout at this show or that show? Where Where's Robot Boy? Uh, LP Soldier Roxy is asking. The, the, the set lists change. Um, it's not just like what songs we want to play um, you know, uh, uh, for a certain crowd, a lot of times it has to do with maybe how our voices are doing or, um, you know, what we played the last time we played that city. For example, if we played a certain set list in a city, we probably want to come back and play a different set list that time. So, you know, whereas when you come to the show, you may want to see a certain song or not want to see a certain song. Um, it does matter to us that other people have been there before, have seen the band play before, and we don't want to, we, we try and keep a little bit of variety in it. Um, and then like in the case of, um, I think the, um, 
uh, some sets, like we'll just uh, at certain points, like Chester and I, you know, we're out there on the road playing a lot of shows, like like you know, four four shows a week sometimes. And um, uh, if we have a bunch in a row and our voices just get tired, and um, then then you know, we it's just harder to hit certain certain notes, and and we'll, we may cut a song for those reasons. So that hopefully that's kind of I mean that doesn't get too specific, but that's gives you an idea. Um, all right. Anyway, we're gonna get in some other music uh, and then come back and talk to some fans. I might, uh, I might, I think I'm gonna put the the phone number to the studio out there and uh, we'll talk to some people. And um, yeah, this is Lincoln Park Radio. All right. Um, let's do another short one. You guys texting me back. Nope, not yet. Hey, what's up, you guys? Back. Hey, what's up, you guys? We're back. It's Mike, Lincoln Park Radio. Um, I've got a blog, as a lot of you know. It's MikeShinoda.com. Um, I, you know, I try and post on it uh, as often as I can. A lot of times when I'm on the road, I post a little bit more. Um, do some photos, do some uh, updates on what's going on in the studio, what's going on with my art, etc. And once in a while, I like to uh, just check in with the, the folks that read the blog and see what they're doing. Um, one thing that I did recently was checking out some of the music that the people that read the blog make, uh, because I know that there's actually a lot of uh, Linkin Park fans who make their own music. And uh, one band that uh, there were a couple, a couple of them that, that could get a shout out. Um, we had a few different submissions, and different people said, oh, you know, check this guy out, check this person out. Um, there was a song by Omniscient that was really cool. Um, I would play that one, but actually we couldn't find a clean version of it, so uh, that, that I'll just give him a shout-out. The other one, uh, another one that got a lot of um, attention on my blog was a, a, a song called Forget Me, Forgive Me by Missing Ships. I really liked it. Um, I hope you guys do, too. Here's Missing Ships with Forget Me, Forgive Me. Oh shit, I just died. All right. Okay. Let's see what you guys got here. What are you guys doing? Playing a mobile art show. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? What's wrong with my hair because of the hat? I'm just wearing a beanie, guys. Just what you do sometime. sometimes. Thanks. Um, what's in the cup? Just coffee. Nan cat. I don't sing Nan Nan cat. Come to Mexico. I'd like to come to Mexico. Do I play air guitar? Yes. Will we play Blackout at the Luna Fest? I'm not sure. Will we come to Scotland? That would be awesome. Greece. Yes. Awesome. Opener for Vegas is, uh, oh, I forget their name. They're from the UK. Starts with an E. Do you guys know what it was? Ev Eveline or something? I forget the name. Um, not Amberlynn, no. Is there a band called Eveline? You guys know who that is? Did I get that name right? I do like cheesecake. <laughs> uh, um, it's not Amberlynn and it's not Evanescence. <laughs> it's not Andrew Shikari. I think it's Eve Eveline, something like that. If you guys want to know, you probably should just go on the go on um, online and look it up. Oh, why does my ear hurt? Um, Edible Cows, yeah, that's the name. That's your band, isn't it? If you guys, if you come out with a band called Edible Cows, I will definitely play your music. Um. Okay.
Okay, we're going to do a quickie uh, music relief thing. All right, so this is uh, comes out of the hills and goes into York. All right. Hey, guys, we're back. It's Mike, Lincoln Park Radio. Um, recently, we, uh, with Music for Relief, our, our charity organization, uh, we... Um, Tried to challenge the fans, not only of our band, um, but but many bands and, and folks who um, are interested in helping out for the uh, folks aff affected by the disaster in Japan, to help out, and we challenge them to um, donate money on a, 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 a domain, a website called um, SecretShowForJapan.com. It wasn't just about the show, um, but if you raised five hundred dollars or more, uh, you would get two tickets to a, a see us and um, one of the biggest Japanese rock bands called Bees uh, play at a tiny little venue. Uh, the venue ended up being the Mayan in Los Angeles. And um, our goal, I don't know if we announced our goal at the time when we, when we announced the, the, uh, the, the, you know, the challenge, the program, but um, the goal really was to raise um, 25, excuse me, 250,000 U.S. dollars. And I'm thrilled to, to say that we, that, that the fans did, um, meet that challenge and, and the money was raised and um it actually you know we we um essentially donated the costs of putting on the show um and uh the money flowed straight through so it didn't like in other words it cost a lot of money to put on a show and and that wasn't a factor the, the money that was donated didn't didn't have to go towards that it just went directly to an organization called save the children uh which focuses on um focuses on children in, in Japan uh, in the aftermath of the earthquake and tsunami, uh, providing things like um, psychological care, uh, places to play, and things like that. So uh, a big shout out to everybody who, who um, contributed, who was a part of that, that campaign. And if you guys still want to uh, donate, we are still accepting donations. You can just go to musicforrelief.com. Um, or of course you can go to, uh, download to donate, excuse me, musicforrelief.org or download to donate.org and, um, donate for Japan. And that will go into, um, Bjork. And slash MF. Okay. How many more do we have? One, two, three, four, four, five. Okay, guys. We're going to do, I think this will be a good one. All right, you guys, we're back. It's Mike, Lincoln Park Radio. Uh, that was Big Black Delta, the zebra. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you guys, um, I'm, I've given the fans a phone number. They are going to start calling in, and in a little bit, we're going to start to take some calls from the fans, um, maybe some questions, maybe some stories. We'll see what happens. This is Mike, Lincoln Park Radio. Okay, so that's the uh, fan call. Bees. Okay, guys, so this is not for the radio thing. For you guys, I'm going to type the number right now. I'm typing it in. This is the number, the U.S. number, that you can call to get on the line. We only have not, uh, 10 lines in. Um, here's what I want you to do. I'm going to give you this phone number. This is the number here to the studio. Um, and I want you to think of what you're going to do or say or whatever before you call this number. Because if you call and you don't really have anything to say, we're going to probably hang up on you pretty quick. Okay? Just so you know. Um, not that we don't love you, but, you know, time is limited and we do need stuff that's good for the radio. Not necessarily just to say hi. But if you want to say hi and you're super charismatic, then maybe that, that will work anyway. Um, but, yeah, a story a um, question, uh, you know, whatever you need. So here's the phone number, ready? Boom, 818-205-9055 is the number, 818-205-9055, and the lines are lighting up. Okay, 
So we'll talk to some of you guys in a second. Here we go. All right, you guys, we're back. It's Mike, Lincoln Park Radio. That was uh, the homie, Apathy. Uh, that track was actually produced by DJ Premier, featuring self-titled. Uh, it's called Stop What You're Doing. Um, I guess that's off of Apathy's uh, upcoming Honky Kong, or should be out now at this point, Honky Kong record. Um, I gave the fans, Lincoln Park fans, uh, the phone number here to the studio uh, via the lpunderground.com um, chat room. Um you know, just so you guys know, if you don't already belong to the LPU, this is one of the perks of being in the LPU. We do fun stuff like this where you just, you know, I give them the phone number and they can call me directly right now. As a side note, I am not um, at this phone number all the time. So if you call here uh, any other day, you're just going to be harassing Justin, who probably will not pick up the phone and will not talk to you. So here we go. This is our first call. Hey, this is Mike. Who are we talking to? Danny, what's up? Hey, I think you've got your speakerphone on. you got something on that's echoing. Can you turn that off? All good. Danny, what's up, man? Where are you from? You're from Chicago. Um, awesome, awesome. So uh, have you seen the band play live before? Nice. You're breaking up a little bit, Danny. Um, so if you could get better reception, go go for it. But it, it, tell me, um, tell me what. Well, like some of the people that listen to this station don't know what the summit is. So tell tell them what the Lincoln Park Underground Summit is all about. Did you meet? So did you met you met the whole band, of course. And you did you do? Did you get to like walk on the stage or do do you any of those things like the tour or the instruments or any of that stuff? So you held you you got to play, hold, and play the instruments that we play on stage. Did you did you take pictures with them? Did you show your did you show your friends? They hated you, they were jealous. <laughs> that's funny, man. I mean, cause the thing is, like, that's you know, for us, I, I think that a very, very small um, you know, the summit is an event that happens, you know, we try and do them a few times a year, and um, you know, they're uh something that we we take a lot of pride in. We try and make them really fun for you guys and you know, stuff like that. Like the like you said, you get to you get to come on the stage and take pictures with the instruments and play the instruments, you get to play Rob's drums, you get to play Joe's, you know, turntables and play some of the samples and my keyboard and the guitar, whatever. Um we've had situations where uh fans have gone up and actually like done jammed one of our songs on our actual instruments. Uh, some people played faint. Um, I think it was at the at the London Summit they did that, and I saw the performance. Uh, uh, our video guy taped it, and he showed me the 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 clip of like them playing our song, which is amazing because you're playing all of our instruments, so it sounds even more like us, you know, <laughs> rather than like a just playing your own stuff in the garage. Um, yeah, so that's really that's really cool. Did you? Um, so what was uh, what would you say was your favorite part of the of the summit then? That's awesome, man. Well, thank you so much, Danny. I'm going to I'm gonna go so we can talk to some other people and play some more music, but I really appreciate you uh, calling in. You were the first person to call in, um, and, and it's good to talk to you about the summit and stuff. Um, yeah, man, thanks very much, and, and, and thanks. Spread the word about the uh, our, our gratitude for the LPU, okay? Yeah, man, thanks.
So I just hit drop and we're good, yeah? All right, that was Danny. I'm Mike. This is Lincoln Park Radio. Uh, and we'll be back with some more uh, calls from the fans after this. Okay, perfect. Good job, Danny. Wow. I, could, you guys couldn't hear Danny, huh? Is it? Should I pump it out into here? Will it come through the mic? Will it be weird if I do that? Um, where's the mic on? I could put headphones. Oh, really? Yeah, let's do that. Let me let me do that. Here, where's the? Okay, you guys have to tell me if you can hear any of this. Wait, hold where's on. Where's your mic? Oh, is the mic? Okay, now we're back. Yo, I'm back. Okay, hold on, let me sign up. I think it's down here. I'm looking for where the microphone is. Yeah, it's on this side. It is? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just put these over here. And, uh... Dial tone, see if they can hear that. Take the dial tone? Yeah. Just picking up on the, the VUs up there. Can you guys hear that? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, all right. Perfect. Perfect. So smart. Um, let's see if John Chester texted back. Nope. No chance. They're not going to be. They're not going to be coming in. Oh, we've already gotten through all of these. All right. This is after... Uh... Oh, fuck. What the hell? I can't play. I can't play. I'm lucky that I put this song in twice right next to each other. Um... All right. I'm going to do a super short one here. Going on. What's going on right now? What will be going on? Hey, what's up, you guys? Mike, we're back on Lincoln Park Radio. Um, just to give you the info, uh, you can find us on Twitter. Um, the band's Twitter account is Lincoln Park, uh, L I N K I N P A R K, of course. But you can also find Chester at Chester B E C H E S T E R, capital B E. Uh, Phoenix is on. He's on um, as Phoenix L P, which he spells P H O E N I X L P. And. Um, What's Joe on under Joe? 
Johan is on under Johan LP, J O E H A H N L P, capital L P. And um, Chester's Nose is on Twitter under Chester's Nose. I'm Mike Shinoda. I'm on under M underscore Shinoda, and this is Lincoln Park Radio. All right, you guys, we're back. It's Mike, Lincoln Park Radio. Um, we're going to take some more calls from the fans and see what's up with them. I've been in the LPU uh, chat room. That's lpunderground.com uh, for our fan club. These are, um, you know, yearly. I think mostly yearly. I guess it could be it could be uh, annual members and monthly members. Uh, but yeah, go to lpunderground.com to find out uh, more about the club. Um, right now, we're taking calls from you know folks in the fan club who are in the chat room with me. So. Who's this? Uh, hello, it's Harris from London. Harris from London. Holy crap! I, I said some people. Some people were saying like, "Oh, it's too bad I can't call. I'm from another country." I'm like, "Actually, there's nothing stopping you. You can call." So what's up? Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to cost a lot, but it's definitely worth it. How you doing? I'm good. What's going on with you? What did you want to talk about? What do you want to ask? Tell me what's going on uh, in London right now. What time is it in London right now? It's uh, just after one a.m. Okay. Um, I'm in bed. Just um, just shut my lid with the laptop because he's going to talk to you that way without the echo and everything. Yeah, and, thank uh, you very much. Thanks very much. <laughs> so do you have any questions for me that I can answer, I can shed light on? Is there any any uh, uh, stuff you've wondered about the band or any drama that we need to answer? Um, you know, whatever. It's your... um, well, I was just spamming online, not spamming as such, I was just asking how to get girls to like me, but you didn't answer that, so maybe you could just shed some light on that. How you can get girls to like you? I think that's like, <laughs> dude, that's like the age-old question. I don't, I don't know, I think you can't, I, it's, it's very hard to get them to like you, they either like you or they don't, I think. But I know, I know, it's very why, why are you having, this is so ridiculous, because I'm like the last person that, need, I, I was, uh, I was not like the, um, like the lady killer in like how old are you i was gonna say high school i don't know how old you are uh 23 okay so the college university age uh person That's i mean right. so yeah well you know i mean what's the what's the problem <laughs> that's really a problem i just i just thought that'd be a good question to get somebody's attention so. <laughs> dude i don't even know I, I wish i could help you <laughs> Yeah, I think, and and to be honest, I I don't even know if any of the guys in our band are qualified to answer that question because we're you know clear, as you guys probably know we're not like known for um, we're not exactly like the the rock and roll lifestyle band. Although I have to say I'm 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 recording this in the um, in Nikki Six's uh, radio studio. That's where um, where I'm doing the recording. Uh, he's been kind enough to let me use the studio to do our our broadcast and. Um, those hopefully some of that rubs off because those guys definitely apparently are the the, the masters the godfathers of partying and getting chicks so, so um maybe oh. maybe i'll learn how to be a more exciting uh person by just being in the in the studio although i doubt well if you could get that stuff i mean that'd be greatly appreciated <laughs> okay it's harris it's harris right uh harris from london that's right i actually met you at the um london summit the winner from LPU Soccer Cup. Oh wow! You guys, you guys won the. Um, was that the only? I think that was the only football uh, slash soccer cup that we've done, right? Is it? Was there another uh, one? I'm, I'm pretty sure. I think there was a basketball one in Chicago. But, yeah, there was uh, basketball in Chicago. Did, so you guys, how many people? Okay, so for people that don't know the summit, we've already talked about that. That's a get together, uh, essentially like a Lincoln Park convention. Like people come out. Not only from the city that that we you know we do it at, at at a city where we're playing a show, so we do it like the day before and day of the show usually. Sometimes it's a one day event, sometimes it's two, maybe three. Uh, in the future, who knows? And um, this this the London Summit was the first one, and we um, we had things like you can meet the band, you can go on the stage, you can play the instruments, but we also the days leading up to it, the day leading up to it, we did some events, uh, music for relief events, outdoor stuff, and you guys had a football. Uh, Americans would know it as soccer cup where right. fans from different, you know, could basically team up in different organizations and you could have like, call it like the LP times, uh, 
football club versus the LP Association Football Club. I don't know how it actually ended up working out, but that was the original idea. So who did you team up with? How did that work out? And how many people did you have to beat to win? Oh, man. It was actually, in the end, what we ended up doing was we just ended up going by the cutter off our shirt. So I'm That's so funny. I wore a black shirt that day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we ended up with initially a team, and we had to beat two teams. Um, Adam from LPE was one of them for a little while, so I had to beat him to get, win the meet and greet with you guys. That's amazing. I'm so glad you beat Adam, too. <laughs> That's like the perfect, oh, that's, I'm really happy about that. that's the icing on the cake. I'm actually going to have to give him a hard time about that now. But I mean, what do you expect? You know, you're from, you're from London. He's from America. Like the Americans can't play soccer. <laughs> actually, that's not, that's, that's right. not entirely true. We're getting a lot better. Um, anyway, Harris, good to talk to you, man. Um, congratulations on, you guys are the, you guys are the reigning champs at this point for the LPU soccer cup. So, uh, does your team have a name? Thank you very much. Do you have a name? Does your team have a name? would definitely come up with one now. now oh, okay. Okay, so next time you guys come with a name. Anybody else who comes to the LPU Soccer Cup, uh, you got you should come with a name next time. Um, all right, so we're going to move on. Thanks very much, Harris. Um, thank yeah. Much. Yeah, thank you, man. Oh, we're going to do another call. Who is this? Okay, I'm going to give you one chance to get on. You might be on hold. All right, let's take another call. Um... Let's see who's on this line. Hello, who's this? Hi, this is Tiffany from Philadelphia. Hi, how are you doing? Great. Great awesome. Now. Do you have? I've only I've only got a couple like a short time to talk to you. So what? Uh, do you have any questions or what do you want to talk about? Do you have a story? Do you have any questions? What's up? Um, I don't know. Like I just I had, I wonder because I follow all of you guys on Twitter and. I always see, like, Chester, he'll be like, oh, I missed my work place or something. So, does it ever get kind of exhausting on tour and being away from your family and stuff? That's a good question. Actually, we're all, we're all um, very uh, much like home, I don't want to say home bodies, but, like, we love to be at home. We love, like, we have a lot of uh, family and loved ones at home, and definitely it gets to be a little tough, but... You know, sometimes it's really nice to be in our position where, you know, we can we can kind of um, we can arrange to, to tour with our family sometime. The tours are spread out a bit because, you know, we're able to do that kind of thing. Like I think as, as if we were, you know, a small band and a, you know, touring in one bus, you obviously couldn't bring all your, your family and friends out. It'd be a lot tougher to do. So we're, we feel really grateful to be able to, to do that um, and definitely makes life easier. And by the way, to be able to do that keeps our you know like mental stamina up and that means we'll be touring hopefully the idea is we'll be touring for longer and and doing this for longer because we're not all worn out and you know going through drama and whatever so that's a great question say say your name again Tiffany. great to talk to you thanks very much um and we're gonna we're gonna move on to some music right now um What's this? We're going to listen to, uh, let's play some TV on the radio. This is Lincoln Park Radio. Mike's here. Uh, wait. This is TV on the radio. This is Mike, Lincoln Park Radio. Okay, so, um, that was, I think that was Tiffany. Did she say Tiffany? Tiffany. Is that right? Tiffany? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, I thought she said Tiffany, right? I thought Stephanie the first time, but yeah. Um, I hope I didn't kill Harris. I hope Harris didn't have a... Harry's dying, dude. Don't die, Harry. Um, Pukle Pop. Yeah, that was really crazy what happened at Pukle Pop. Um, definitely very sad, and, and I hope none of you guys were or there or know anybody who was hurt by that whole thing that was crazy um next summit i'm hoping i'm hoping there's gonna be some summit information coming out very soon um about uh i mean we're having we're gonna be out on tour in about a couple two weeks so uh you know you never know something could be happening yeah, in New York. We're gonna be in Asia, so that would be a long flight to do a New York summit. 
Japan Summit, Tokyo Summit, what up? Um, okay. Let's do some more calls. Um, okay, I'm going to just do one. Okay, here we go. Hey, we're back. It's Mike with Lincoln Park Radio. Let's do the intro again. Hey, what's up, you guys? We're back. It's Mike, Lincoln Park Radio. Uh, let's talk to some fans. Hi, it's Mike. Who are we talking to? Hi, it's Abby from Sheffield in England. Wow, another another uh, a caller from England. This is amazing. You guys are calling in. I love it. Thanks. The Greatest Hits record. An album? Um, no, it's called, like, Arenas. Oh, she's on speakerphone? Yeah, it's hard for me to hear. Can you? Are you on speakerphone? And I'm on Skype, yeah. Oh, you're on Skype. Skype. Okay. Okay, so what are you asking? Oh, this is going to be terrible radio. This is, I'm, I'm horrible. You want a okay, greatest, um, greatest Hits what? A tour, like an arena tour. Oh, an arena tour of Greatest Hits. Okay. So you're asking, so you want to know if we're going to do a Greatest Hits arena tour. Do you mean that like like we're playing Greatest Hits, like playing the music? The, what, what's, an, what's a Greatest Hits arena tour uh, sound like to you? Like singles that have been released, like Page Cuts, One Step Closer. Oh. Yeah, because we, we don't always play all that stuff, do we? Well, yeah, I, think, I think fans would appreciate it quite a lot. Yeah, I, I actually found out recently there's so there's a few songs that we don't that the guys you know I I won't point any fingers but there are certain songs that certain people don't always want to play and sometimes it's me sometimes it's other guys you know there's six of us so um but yeah you're like yeah I think you're you know I think that that's something that we could think about in, as we go into the next you know go into the next set um when we start changing up the music in the set trying to trying to put in some of those songs that are uh that are uh fan favorites that we haven't played in a while so it's a very good idea well i appreciate that if, if we start doing it we can start we can give you credit should we put your name on the uh should we put your name on the tickets too or on the billboard outside probably so huh okay well cool thanks very much for for uh calling in Nice to talk to you. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Hey, this is Mike. Who are we talking to? Hello, here's Miriam. Is it Miriam? Yes. Hi, Miriam. What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited right now. Awesome. Do you have a question or uh, do you have a question or something? Play um, songs like No Roads Left or yes, stuff like Dead Live. Songs like No Roads Left Live. Um, as I think this is great that you actually asked this question because the, the last call we had was similar in the sense that like, you know, there's we we got six guys in the band and and the more albums we uh we make, the more songs there are to choose from as far as like what we could add into the set. And one thing that's tough for us is that we know that a lot of fans, you know, if we were to, for example, we played shows recently where we pulled out One Step Closer, we didn't play that song, and a lot of people, we heard a lot of people online saying, you know, what the heck, you didn't play One Step Closer, and all that, and so obviously, in order to make room for some of these other songs, we kind of need to pull out certain songs, and that's tough, like, every time we take a song away to put something else in, people, you know, we, we feel like maybe we're like alienating people we're leaving people out who want to see that song so it's a tough balancing act and we'll just try and do our best uh for you guys yeah. well thank th thank you very much for calling how long have, how long have you been a, how long have you been listening to lincoln park oh i don't know that um i don't know i um a friend of me had said um it's really music and I bought it but I um, don't really listen it. It's, I had music but I don't, yes. And for two or uh, three years I started to hear it um, more and more and now I'm a really fan. <laughs> That's funny. Awesome. Well, th thank you very much for calling. Thank you. Bye-bye. 
All right, you guys. Mike here, Lincoln Park Radio. Let's listen to some more music and come back with some more calls. That was funny. Was that funny? Yeah, she's like... She was kind of panicking at the end, which is totally fine. Um, ooh. So how can I discern between... Oh, uh, are these the two lines that are two bottom ones? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to... looks like Chester might call in. All right, cool. This is very organized this time. I got my shit together. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? The ring prank call. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's do some more calls. Just jump straight into it this time. Oops. My leader died. It might be running out of power soon. Yeah. Here. Oh, great. Well done. All right. We're just going to jump straight into it this time. Hey, this is Mike. Who am I talking to? Hello, my name is Constantine. I'm calling you from Ukraine. Constantine. I'm really happy that I called you. Awesome. Uh, it's awesome, <laughs> yeah. Do you have a, do you have a question? I love you very much, and we hope that someday you will come to us with your show. We would love to. It's tough to get to all the places that we want to play, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, I was on your show in uh, Moscow on Red Square. It was really awesome, but it was not easy to join it. How, how, what did you have to go through to get to Moscow? Uh, the first problem is that I'm living in the other country, yeah. so I have to, and um, there was some problem with uh, to the show itself because uh, they, they were free, so it was not really easy to have them. Yeah. But, uh, underground came to help me with, uh, um, underground was uh, giving some tickets for members. Amazing. That's so you got them through uh, the LP Underground. Awesome. So, yeah. so were you one of the people who held up the wisdom, justice, and love signs, or did you you saw that happen, right? I just saw it happen because um, there was some problem. Like the policemen, they don't want us to go to the crowd. Whoa. They were like lots of people. <laughs> Oh, there were a lot of problems with that. Man, yeah, I heard too that like originally because it's such a um, such an important landmark, they were very uh, particular about you know the um, the rules and who could get in and who could not. And originally, there were supposed to be, I think, a lot more people there. A lot more people at the uh, turn the volume. In. Originally, I think there were supposed to be a lot more people there, and then. Um, the uh, the the authorities basically cut down the number of people that were allowed to be in the crowd. So some people who thought they were going to have to come weren't even able to come. It was really tough. But I mean, at the end of the day, I think it was it was all for the in the best interest of you know they were just trying to keep it a, a, a some kind of sense some 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 kind of safety and all that. And um, that just made it a more I think the people that actually did get in like yourself. It, they 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 felt really um, they could feel how special an event it was and it was a little more exclusive and then at a certain point in the show one of the most memorable things for us 
was that everybody in the crowd, a lot of people in the crowd held up these signs. We played the, the, the song Wisdom, Justice, and Love, and everybody held up these signs that said Wisdom, Justice, and Love. And we didn't, we had no idea it was going to happen. The people that put on, uh, that set up the event uh, with Paramount, since it was a Transformers uh, premiere thing, they had no idea it happened. We were thinking, did somebody else, you know, arrange this or whatever? And it was just a massive surprise to everybody. So definitely really moving for us. And we thank everybody um, who came to the show who, who was a part of putting that together. And Constantine, how long, yeah. how long have you been part of LPU? I'm part of LPU since 2008. Awesome, man. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I want to say about the Moscow show a little bit more. It was really awesome about the intro because I was not uh, waiting for something like this. And when it started, I was like, whoa, whoa, the, sponsor, <laughs> the show had started or what? <laughs> awesome, man. Cool, oh, great, uh, great. Decide... The show? No, no, no. Self. Oh, so it was a different. For Moscow. That's correct, yeah. We decided just because it was a special, you know, it was the Transformers event that we wanted to make a special uh, intro that kind of built into uh, into that song. Yeah, oh, this was just great. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. All right, good to talk to you. Thanks, man. Bye, bye. Who's this? Oh, um, um, my name's Doran Ferrari. Dor, is it Doran? Yeah, where, Jordan. Jordan. Where are you at, Jordan? I'm in Wisconsin. You're from I... Wisconsin. What's up in Wisconsin right now? Uh, kind of hot out. Awesome. What What do you want to ask, Jordan? Do you have a question? Um. Oh, crap. You don't need. You don't need. You don't need to be nervous, man. It's just me. I pretty much went blank when you answered. <laughs> Who's that in the background? Um, uh, that was my little brother. I went outside now, though, because he was yelling and stuff. What, how old is your little brother? About four or five. I'm not really even sure. <laughs> What's his name? Owen. Owen? Does Owen, does Owen listen to music at four, four or five years old? Uh, nothing that I know or like. <laughs> That's funny. Do you, what do you, uh, how long have you been in the LPU? Um, I joined in, um, LPU 8. It was actually an accident. I get songs from the underground from Best Buy and got the wrong thing. Oh, that's funny. So you accidentally uh, joined, I, you actually accidentally joined and now you're, you're still part of the, the fan club. Yeah. Well, awesome. I'm glad that, that you enjoy it enough to, to stay a part of it. We're still, we're constantly making, you know, changes and improvements to try and make it a better experience for you guys. Have you, are you, how are you feeling about it right now? I think it's pretty awesome. It's worth renewing. Awesome. Great. So cool. Are you sure now, you know, you're settling down. You have any questions? Um, Anything on your mind? Anything you're wondering about me or the other guys? Uh, not that I can think of. Okay, Jordan. Well, thank you very much for answering the phone, man. Thank you. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hello. Hi, Mike. Yes. I think Hi, I, 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 I think I heard you say "Oh crap!" before, like just as I kind of turned the turn the line yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah, because it like went off and then it came back on. So. <laughs> My Who? name's Katea. Katea. How do you spell Katea? C-A-T-Y-A. Yeah. Where are you? Uh, where do you live, Katea? Mesquite, Nevada. Nevada? Yep, just about 60 miles out of Vegas. So do you have a question for me that I can in answer and give you some insight into what goes on in my world or the guy's world or Lincoln Park's world? Absolutely. Um, if you wanted to collaborate with anybody that you could think of alive or dead, who would it be and why? If I could collaborate, we could collaborate with anyone. We've had some good collaborations. Have um, we had any collaborations that you liked? I enjoyed the Jay-Z one. Um, I think it would be cool if you guys did something with Adele because that was so awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Kudos, kudos to Chester on that one. That blew me away. Thank you. Really different, right? I think oh, I, feel, mm -hmm. I feel like his people don't know 
like I it's almost like I hear him sing all kinds of stuff all the time mm -hmm. and maybe I don't always realize how versatile and how amazing he is as a singer yeah. and sometimes then 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 he does something like the Adele thing which he was mm -hmm. just he's just sitting around in the studio with the acoustic guitar like playing that song and singing it and it struck it struck me like oh my gosh this guy you know he can sing yeah. he can sing anything it's just incredible I, he's like an idol I, I sing too and I actually do voices and stuff and he just he's one of my idols him and uh, Sarah Brighton and Amy Lee and them I love them they're just great awesome well thank you for, I'll pass the, the message along uh, next time I talk to, to Chester and um, yeah I appreciate thanks very much for saying that see you guys that. in Vegas oh okay alright great bye. thanks very much bye Take one more. Um, just for the record, whoever's cutting this up, you can use, um, you know, you can cut these up a little bit, um, tighten it up if you like. Actually, why don't I take a break right here? All right, that's it uh, for right now. Um, all right, let's listen to some more music and come back. Uh, it's Mike, Lincoln Park Radio. All right. Um... I put the callers on a separate track too, so they can cut. Oh, nicely, great! That's so awesome. Not underneath your voice. Okay, cool. How are you guys doing in the chat room? Info about the new record. Matt's was that Matt's? All right, uh, let's record. All right, we're back. It's Mike, uh, Lincoln Park Radio. I'm in the LP Underground chat room right now, and we're talking to. Uh, I'm talking to some people on the phone. I'm reading some stuff um, in the chat room and answering some questions. Um, they uh, there's there's a lot of names. <laughs> Your sc screen names are are insane as usual. Um, and uh, I don't. I'm sorry if I if I answer any questions and I don't know. I leave out your name. That's because I don't know how to say it. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm looking for a new, I'm looking for a, uh, question. Derek from LP Association is asking uh, if we, uh, oh, wait. Yeah, Derek from LP Association is asking if we, um, if we, what was the question, Derek? Say your question again. No, I'm forgetting it. I'm like trying to, I'm, I'm like, wait, that was your question? Releasing EPs? I thought you had a different question. Wow, you type fast, man. Derek from LP Association, which is one of the uh, one of the Lincoln Park fan sites, they do a great job. Cover sometimes they cover the band in a way they cover stuff so quickly that like I find out stuff from them rather than our own uh, website or management or something like that. They're they're quick on it, man. Um, so anyway, Derek uh, is one of the people that runs it. Or are you the dude that runs it? I guess. Um, and uh, he asked if we ever plan on releasing EPs or shorter length um, formats releases instead of albums um and i'd say you know that's definitely on our uh, radar i would you know i would definitely say that that's a possibility sometime in the future but we'll see kind of how things go because at this point um you know it's uh it's it's a lot, especially on the last record on a thousand suns we we felt like we made an album that was an album it was just it wasn't something we had kind of planned to do but as we put the music together it definitely just felt like it should be one big thing so it was as conducive to the album for net format as anything we've ever released. Um, and if, you know, we'll see what happens with the next one. I don't know. We're, we're always writing and we're always making new music and, um, thank, you know, thank God for, for the, the laptop and all the great recording software we've got on that. Cause we can record whenever, you know, we have a good idea. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens as usual. You can always keep up with us on, um, lincolnpark.com. We're on Twitter, Lincoln Park, um, Twitter name. I'm under M underscore Shinoda, and uh, you're listening to Lincoln Park Radio.
Right. All right, that was Nas with Nasty. This is Mike. Uh, you're listening to Lincoln Park Radio. And uh, we're getting some calls from fans. Who is this? This is Derek from Michigan. What's up, Derek from Michigan? Do you have a question? I do, actually. Um, when I was, I went to the Chicago Summit, and uh, while I was there, I noticed that you had a lot, of, uh, a lot of energy. I'm just wondering how you maintain that energy through, you know, with all the projects you got going on around you, touring all the time and uh, writing music all the time as well. So I appreciate you saying that. It's tough. It's tough sometimes for us to like, you know, keep the keep the energy up. Uh, if you're, you know, if you've had a really rough day or you're doing stuff all the time. Um, so yeah, but it's you know, it's it, what we do. We love doing what we do. It's it's really fun, and especially when it comes to things like what you you know you said you went to the summit. Um, those those events and stuff like that for me personally, I get charged up by them. Um, I love seeing you know the fans in person. I love seeing you guys in person and talking to you, hearing questions, answering stuff, and just getting that vibe from you know people that are really. Uh, I mean, you guys are the, the the you know the foundation of the of the of the fan base. You guys are the, the some of the biggest supporters of the band. So uh, for us, it's like it's easier to be charged up when it's like you know you you guys are there with your energy so i guess why well, should say thank you to you derek yeah you had a smile on your face the whole time so yeah I, man i i don't know if i can maintain that you know <laughs> i appreciate that man it's you know it's um we have a good time out there so thank you very much man it's good to talk to you thank you hello who's this hi it's Rossi from you say, is your name Rossi? Yeah, Rossi. What's up? Well, not much. We wrote to you. Yeah, do you have a question? Uh, well, my question is actually if you're trying to improve the female merchandise. The female merchandise? You think it needs improvement? Yeah, because we have, we're have we having some ideas. Uh, there was a girl called Rhoda from London. She had an idea, and she talked to Chester, and... Also to Brad and I think Rob, and they said it would be a great idea. So we're collecting some ideas right now, and I also did some designs, and we would love to send them to you as well. That's amazing. Uh, that's amazing. Um, what's the best way to do that? I don't know. Do you do you ever get in touch with Adam from LPU headquarters? Yeah, sure. On chat and also on Twitter. Um. Okay, so he's a good place to start because he's always around. Um. You could do that. You could make some noise on Twitter. I mean, I think that's a great idea. I, I was not aware. You just put this on my radar that the, we that you guys think that the the merchandise for girls could be better. Um, well, I, we so much here, so. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hopefully, we'll be seeing um, ideas produced by Rossi from uh, Bulgaria on our in in the Lincoln Park merchandise store. Yeah, I hope so as well. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for calling. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello, who's this? Um, uh, hello, Mark. Uh, my name is Natalie. I'm from Moscow. Natalie from Moscow. What's happening? Uh, wow. Uh, I don't know uh, what to say. And first of all, I want to say you uh, thank you very, very much for your song uh, Easy to Run uh, it's my favorite wow thank you very much and uh, 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 my question is uh, uh, have, uh, where, uh, I'm sorry uh, it's okay uh, have, you visited, uh, have you visited some sites when you were in Moscow a little bit um, the, the, the first time I think uh, not this time, but the, actually the the time before um, uh, when we visited, we we took a little bit of a tourist trip around you know Red Square and uh, to some different sites, and, and um, we also went to we were in Saint Petersburg as well, and we we did I think we had some more time there, so oh, okay, so um, we had some more time when we were there, so you know it was um, it, it, it we w when. It, in general, on tour, when we're out there doing our thing, it's like whenever we get a chance to, to you know, do some sightseeing or, or whatever, um, it kind of has to work its way around the shows and whatever. But I appreciate you calling. Thanks very much. 
I actually think she dropped off the line, um, you guys. So uh, when she can listen to the uh, recording of the, she can listen to the radio station and hear the answer to the question. All right, let's do one more and we'll go back. Hello, who's this? Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Travis. Travis, what's up? Where are you from, man? Uh, Canada. Canada! Yeah. Going on, Mike? I'm chilling, man. I'm, uh, I'm excited to talk to, to you and some of the other folks from the LPU to hear what you what's on your mind. What's going on in Canada? Because I haven't been up there. It's been a little bit since we've been to Canada. We don't play enough shows in Canada, do we? Yeah, you got to play Man. Thank you, man. What, what, where in Canada are you from? Uh, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. So, um, what's your question? Do you, ha uh, do you have a question? Uh, I don't really have a question. I don't know what's going on. Are you, um, how long have you been a Linkin Park Underground member? Six years? Oh, that's awesome. So that means yeah. you joined sometime right after, like, Meteora, yeah? Yeah. What What was the... Uh, what really? What's your... What's your tattoo? Uh, it just says, like, dark on my chest. Really? How big is it? Uh, I don't know, about six... What's the, uh, like, what logo is it? What what era? Uh, so it's like, oh, it's like the one, is it from Hybrid Theory or Meteora, something like uh, that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. What, so what did you, when you got a Linkin Park tattoo, I always, okay, so because I don't have any tattoos, and my thing is this, like, I... I went to, um, as you guys, a lot of you guys know, I went to art school. I'm, I went to school for illustration, so draw, yeah. drawing and painting and stuff like that. And for me, getting a tattoo, a, a, anytime I thought of getting a tattoo, I thought, okay, I'm going to just sit, like whatever the idea might be, I'm going to get it of whatever. And that whatever it was, I sat on it for like a few days or weeks. And over, it, 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 like every single time I thought about it for long enough, I decided, oh, I don't like that anymore. So uh, yeah. that's, I mean, clearly for people that get tattoos, especially if you've only got a couple, I don't know how many tattoos you've got, but. Uh, if, just the one. If you, you got one tattoo and it's a Lincoln Park tattoo? Yeah. Oh my God, it's so crazy. So, yeah, yeah so you're exactly in the shoes, you're, you're, you are exactly where I was concerned about being. Like, if I, if I I was to put something on my body and think about it later and go, oh man, I shouldn't have done that. Why, what What makes you, what made you feel like, no, I'm, this is definitely like something that I can tattoo on my body and I'm good? Uh, well, no. Or were you drunk? Or were you drunk and you didn't think about it? You just kind of went for it? I don't think I'll ever get old in Lincoln Park. So, uh, you know, it's always going to be the guys. I love you guys. That's awesome, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, Travis, you are like, you the, That's you got some balls, man. That's amazing. Yeah, I love that. I, and and it's, it's crazy, too, because we do, we do, I've seen, you know, Lincoln Park tattoos before. I've seen some stuff that, like, of, uh, I've seen ones of, like, our faces. And I've seen ones that are like copies of Chester's tattoos and different logo things that we work is another popular one I've seen. Yeah. And I really like, I tell you something like when we make, you know, new music, when we do different things, you guys do come to mind. Like when we, when we ch you know, make an album that sounds really different, we do think to ourselves like, I, I really hope that the folks with the Lincoln Park tattoos don't yeah. get like freaked out yeah, by this. Like <laughs> we don't want to, we don't want to make you we don't make you want to make you regret that tattoo man we're trying to we're trying to keep it all good for you all right good to talk to you travis i hope yeah, that yeah, i man. i hope you are always proud of your lincoln park tattoo we will do all we can to Hello, make that the case yeah. <laughs> thanks man I'm, I'm gonna cross this off my now okay awesome okay thank you very much all right see you man all right okay some good calls we'll take some more it's mike this is lincoln park radio Dude, this guy didn't recall. I wish we could make this line ring.
one that Fester is going to give him. So, Bottom one. Well, give me this one. Lighting up. Yeah, so it works. Okay. I just texted him to see if he's. Uh... Yeah, you're good. Because this is really the last. Okay. Ah, oh, man, I know. We've been here forever, huh? I know you guys are still calling. You know what let's do? I'm gonna I'm just gonna talk to some of you guys just for fun. We're not even gonna put this on the, the station. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. This is Mike. Who is this? Turn down your speakerphone or your computer okay. or whatever. Alright, I just did that. Is everything okay? I think so. Who am I talking to? Marianne. Marianne. What's happening, Marianne? Not much. I just came home from work and decided to get on the chat. Awesome. Where where do you live? In San Diego. San Diego. What? Where do you work? Um, at a hotel. You work at a hotel. What do you do at the hotel? Um, I'm um a desk agent. What's the what's the um what's the grossest thing that's ever happened at your hotel? Um, I haven't really witnessed anything gross. Um, we just had Comic Con a couple weeks ago, and. A lot of crazy people at Comic Con. Like what? Um, I know some some girl uh, walked down the hallway with like practically nothing on, and I think she. I don't know. I'm really nervous. Right now. What did she? What? What? What did you? Okay, uh, pretend I'm your friends. Tell me what you. What okay. did you see? When you called, when you called your best friend at the end of the day, and you said, "Oh my gosh, there's this girl at the hotel." What did you say? Oh, I was just like, "Oh, there's just some chick who." Wearing like a Borat kind of costume, <laughs> who probably shouldn't have been wearing you know, more power to you. Oh my god, that's awesome! So like the wait, but it's like the uh, the bathing suit thing, right? That goes over the shoulders. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's gnarly. I just yeah. saw. Do you know? Do they? Do you know what? Um, do you say? Is it called cosplay? Is that what they call it? I don't know. The, what is that? I'm looking. I'm actually in the um in the Lincoln Park chat right now too. So, um, yeah, cosplay. That means like okay. it's like costume like dress up so i think it was like originally like uh anime stuff like but anyway so yeah it's uh, it gets really kind of kinky really fast <laughs> you know what i'm saying and and those yeah. and those those uh the the comic-con thing like which i love by the way i think comic-con is one of the greatest things that's ever happened yeah, in the world to um and they get because they go down the rabbit hole so far on those on, on on anything that they like. Like, I mean, people like the one episode of you know the show that was on the air for three weeks back in the seventies of some space you know theme thing, and they are one of the third tier characters from this show, and everybody's like, oh, that's the best costume, and you're just like, yeah. oh my god, who knows this stuff? Um, yeah, that's definitely. I would love that you. I love that you worked on there. That must have been so fun during the. Uh, yeah. During the. It the was thing. a lot of fun. I kind of missed it. I actually lived in Burbank. Oh for really? Five years, and then I lived in North Hollywood for two years, and I always um, passed by Panera Bread, where NRG Studio is. Okay. And then I told my roommate, I'm like, hey, you should do a drive by. Maybe you'll run into like Lincoln Park or something. That's funny. And and she's like, okay, I'll do it. And then um, she tells me later, no, they they turn uh, they tore down the building. And I'm just like, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> and so a couple weeks later, I go um, by the street, and then I re and then I'm like, no, this is the building. She's like, oh, I thought this was the blue tent that building was supposed to be at. I'm That's like, funny. Oh. I th I thought you were gonna say that you lived up there when Joe and I were like in high school or something, or when we were in college up there. Oh no, this was like. A couple years. Because no, you would have loved, you would have loved to be up there when we were, um, like rehearsing and like being, you know, garage band style. Bet, because yeah. we were, 
we were hustling out there in, in Burbank and Glendale to try and get people to come to our shows. Like, we were over yes. at Backside Records and all those yeah. those spots just trying, please. We even played a show. I remember when we, before Chester was in the band, we played a show at Backside Records, and um, it was it was so, it was so horrendous. We were just horrible. Anyway, good. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I, I need to go because we're gonna. I'm just gonna okay, talk to a couple sorry, people. Thanks. Nice to talk to you. It's Marianne. Thanks very much, Marianne. All right. Bye. Bye. Hi. Who's this? Hey, Adam. What's happening? Hey, how are you? I'm good. What is? What is? Uh, what's your question? What do you want to talk about? Well, let me think. Um, the winter fest. I got my tickets yesterday. Oh, you're down in Florida. Yeah, Florida. This will actually be the second time that I'll be uh, seeing you guys live. Okay, nice. Yeah, I've seen you uh, Tampa. All right, cool. Glad that yeah. hopefully it'll be even better than the first time. I hope so. It's like a beach thing, right? Yeah, it's on the beach. Is it? <laughs> is it like a vacation-y kind of vibe? Like, I don't know what they do. It's, I've never been before, but I was checking out pictures last night. It's literally on the like you're on the thing and like the people in the audience and it just goes straight I want to say out into the ocean like I want to see I want to see like an ocean mosh pit like yeah. I wonder if that would just wear wear people it also like would take the mosh pit to a different level because you can throw you could potentially throw people and they just land in the water and they'd be all good imagine one of those trampolines yeah that would be that would be fun that would be really epic. Well, thank you very much for calling, and have fun at the uh, the Luna Fest. Thanks. I'll see you there. All right. Bye. Bye. Hi. Who's this? This is Vince from Utah. What's up, Vince? What's going on in What's going on in Utah? Uh, absolutely nothing like usual. Of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, thank you very much. What's Do you have a question? I did have a question, actually. Um, my question is, I've been quite an avid online and offline volunteer for Music for Relief. Yeah, uh, sure. Since 2007. And I was actually wondering what inspired you or the band to found Music for Relief, and has it fulfilled what you set out for it to do? That is a great question. Um, well, we started Music for Relief back in, um, I think it was around 05, um, after there was a tsunami in South Asia, and we had just toured there. And all of a sudden, we were looking at images on the news of this thing having happened somewhere. We, I mean, we had just been there, and now we're looking on the news, and the whole place was, like, wiped out. It was, it was really weird, and it was, it was scary, and um, we wanted to do something. So that's how we you – know, that kind of inspired us to start the organization. And ever since then, you know, the mission of, of Music for Relief is to provide uh, relief in the aftermath of natural disasters um, – Clearly, we want to, you know, make efforts to um, head off natural disasters in the sense of, you know, if we can do stuff that is um, that's that's helpful for uh, environmental um, yeah. causes. We, we, we when they fit, we do that. Um, we, uh, we, you know, we try and keep our tours relatively green. We um, and we also get involved in, in you know select situations, for example, right after um, most recently the earthquake and tsunami in Japan. Um, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's gone really well. It keeps growing and growing. And, and I mean, I, I don't think, I don't look at it as like something that I want. I don't, I don't want music for relief just to be big. I want music for relief to be, to be effective. I want it to like help people. And, um, we look at it like kind of like a conduit, like we can, we can raise, you know, awareness and raise funds and, and direct attention towards causes that we feel are really, um, important and we can kind of you know sort through all the noise for you guys if you're not you know and there's so much out there that you could potentially get involved in um, places you could donate to things you could get involved in and we we try and find stuff that is really powerful to us and share it with you guys so that if you're you know if it, if it clicks for you as well then then you you can get involved absolutely that's I mean that's why I've been volunteering with music for so long. I mean, I did Warp Tour even when you guys weren't on it. And on the A Thousand Sun Tour, I went to uh, Salt Lake City show here, actually. And then the next day, I met you guys in Denver at the LPU meet and greet. Oh, awesome, man. 
I, you know, and that's really cool too, because I remember, thank you very much for being a volunteer. And I, I know, um, you know, when, it, when it's, when it's possible for somebody to go out and just like, you know, spread the word and do it on the strength of, it's just like something that you love to do. Um, that's, that's really, I mean, that means everything to us. So we appreciate it. And, and thanks a lot, Vince. Hey, not a problem. You have a great one, Mike. All right, man. You too. Yeah. Um, that was a good one. Want to? Let me keep him. Um. Okay. Let's find out. So we never got a call from. All right. We'll take like two more. Hello. Hey. Hi. Who am I talking to? Um. Hello. Hi. Hi. Who am I speaking to? Autumn, hi. What's up, Autumn? Not much. Do you have a question? Where are you from? Dallas. Dallas, and, and do you have a question? Uh, yeah. What is it? <laughs> uh, I think Autumn. I wanted to know. I think Autumn is a little. Who's gonna? Who's gonna? How's the Chris show gonna be? Secret show. Um, the secret show is very has been very secret and I don't know I don't, I don't know how it's going to be um, because to be to be honest we just confirmed the venue and we just told everybody about it so it's a little very secret I think it's even secret to the band oh really that's good <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know what what set list we're going to play or whatever we're still figuring that out right now um, are you going to the secret show I, I have the possibility to but that's I don't pretty know if cool. I can get to, get to LA well I hope you can Thanks, me too. It's going to be cool. Um, yeah, and thank you for being down with the LP Underground. Of course. Awesome. Thanks very much, Autumn. Okay, thank you. Bye. Hi, who's this? Hello. Hello? Who is this? This is Mike. Who am I speaking to? Hi, this is Audrey. Hold uh, on, let me pause the video. Why, yeah, why don't you put your uh, computer on um, on mute or something? Yeah, I did. Okay. Audrey, where are you from? I'm from Brooklyn, New Hampshire. Awesome. Well, what? Do you have a question? Yeah, I heard this song, and I wanted to know um, if you liked it. I was just going to play a little bit of it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's my jam. Audrey, that's my jam. Yeah. Okay, so the Nyan, the Nyan Cat, let me tell you something. Yeah. That thing, I think it's got subliminal, like, messaging or something is going on in the background of Nyan Cat. Are, are you, is anybody else you with me? I'm Okay, so I'm in the LPU chat right now, so there's other people talking and stuff. I'm reading comments from other LPU members, and, and Audrey, you could tell me yourself. Like, have you played that for anybody where they just can't stop watching it? I have done that, and there have been times I've played it for people sometimes, and it's happened like more than five times where I played it for somebody, and they kind of just glaze over and stare at it, like, <laughs> what is going on? And they get like sucked into it. I'm convinced yeah. that whoever made the Nyan Cat, that they are, that they put something in the background, that there's some kind of messaging or something going on that makes it so you can't look away. And I, and I'm, and one of the people that we showed it to was a, was a kid, was a little like, uh, what was she like? Probably like four. And she, cr when we turned it off, when it ended, she cried. She cried because it was over. I'm telling you, there's something, there's something, there's some kind of visual crack that's in the nyan cat if you don't know what it is yeah. go on youtube it's n-y-a-n cat and it's it's the brainwashing cat right somebody said that on on lpu just now it's the brainwashing cat it like sucks you in and it's 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 youtube crack mm -hmm. and the nyan cat will take it, the nyan cat will steal your soul thank you very much for calling audrey that was very funny thank you bye bye all right you guys um thank you guys very much for um I think we'll just use some of those for the last bit because I don't think Chester's going to call. It's already six. Um, you guys have hung in there quite a long time. Thank you guys very much. Uh, we can end the recording, I think, unless Chester just randomly shows up. I, I'm going to go down the line of these calls real quick and just say I have to go, but yeah. it's going to be fine. Hello? Hey, what's up? 
hey, dude, I'm just going through all the callers to say thank you for calling because I, I can't record anymore. But, um, okay, can I just give one quick shout-out, please? Who's your, what's your shout-out? Uh, well, this is Derek LPU from LPU. I just want to give a shout-out to Adam. You all for doing such a great job with LPU and let me be a part of it. It's great. I love it. That's rad, man. Thank you very much for saying that. All right. All right, bye. All right, take it easy. Hi, who's this? Uh, this is Allison Beard from Savannah, Georgia. Allison, I'm I'm just going through the the call the line right now and just saying hello to people because we're I can't record anymore, but I just wanted to say thanks for calling and say that you're awesome. Thank you. I'm a huge fan of you, Allison. Thanks. <laughs> All right, have a good day. <laughs> you too. Bye. Hello. Uh, hello. Hi, this is Mike. Who am I talking Hello. to? I'm Abby from Switzerland. Hi. I just wanted to, I'm not actually recording this for the radio. I just wanted to say hello to everybody who was on the line real quick and tell you guys that you're awesome. So you are awesome. Yes, you are, you're awesome too. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for calling. No problem. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Hey. Hi, this is Mike. Awesome. Who am I talking to? This is Dana from L.A. What's up, Dana. Not much. I'm just going through the lines really quick to say thank you to everybody who called because um, I, I can't record anymore. Yeah, I know. I've been trying to get through, but thanks anyways. Thank you for calling. All right. I'll see you guys on the show. Awesome. See All you right. there. Bye. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I'm just going through the lines and saying thank you because I can't record anymore. Okay, who, thank who? you. I'm Madeline from Bulgaria. Hi, Madeline. Thank you for calling. Bye. Yay, bye. Hello. Hi, Mike. What's up, man? I'm just I'm just going through the lines really quick and saying hello, and and I can't really talk because I I ran out of time today. So, um, but yeah. I did want to say thanks for calling. Yeah, and just want to say thanks for the chat, and I'm Thomas from Germany, better known as Black Chester. Oh, okay, man. Good to, good to talk to you. Thank you for calling and for being always online. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm just going through all... It's Mike, and I'm going through all the lines just telling you guys thanks for calling. I can't record any more stuff, but I did want to say hi. Oh. Yeah. Who are you? Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Where are you from? I'm from New Hampshire. Awesome. How old are you? I'm 15. Oh, Okay. Uh, for a second, I just couldn't tell. I thought you might be a lot younger, but you, partially because you didn't say very much. What's going uh, on in New Hampshire? Huh? Did you say you're from New Hampshire? Yeah, New Hampshire. What's going on in New Hampshire? Um, just the usual. The usual? What's the usual? Just, uh, nothing really. Summer's <laughs> almost over. Well, I hope you have an awesome almost over summer. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hi, who's this? From the UK. Awesome. You sound like you're a radio DJ. Do I really? Yes. You have that, like, very, um, like, outgoing thing happening with what... Uh, what it's, it's, do, really? do, oh, do, do your best. Say your name and say you're listening to Linkin Park Radio. I'm Roxanne. If you like kidding me, I'm listening to Linkin Park Radio. I put you on the spot. I'm sorry. I know we're actually listening. On, we're we're on uh, the LPU chat right now. They can hear you. Is it uh, the people yeah, in the? I know. I'm actually on there too. Okay, so the rest of you guys who are listening to this, like she's totally like a, a radio DJ, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm totally DJ radio. Yeah, you're gonna have to get on the radio out there. I, really? Yes. I, I, I think, appreciate that. I think so. Okay. Mm. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. 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 Who's this? Hi, Mike. I, I'm Alexander uh, from Russia. Hi, Alexander. Uh, uh, I don't speak English, but I still... Just, I want to say uh, thanks for the show on Red uh, uh, Russian fans are grateful to I appreciate that. Thank you. Me. Thank you very much for your support and for, for being there uh, at that show. It was a really... We had a, a really great time. Thanks, man. Bye. Bye. Hello, who's this? Mike. You're Mike? I'm Mike, too. No, no, it's Shen. I'm, I'm your other moderator. <laughs>
What's up, man? What's up? Um, I just like to point out that Derek is a fart poopy. He is? Yeah, he is. Oh. That's, uh, that's news to me. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, people are now in the LPU chat room screaming poopies. Yeah, I mean, by screaming, by screaming, I mean all caps. Hey, everybody, you're all poopies. Oh, all right. Yeah. Shen, what is, uh, where, what, what is Shen? What kind of name is that, by the way? It's my nickname. Everybody knows by that. My, my real name is Ron. What's, is Shen, like, your last name or something? Yeah, first five letters of my last name. Oh, okay. Shen sounds like, uh, it's very exotic. Very exotic is name. It? I don't know, it sounds like, it sounds, uh, what would I say? <laughs> Maybe European sounds German. Yeah, it's German. Shen, tell him Mike Cat. Shenoda. Oh, this Mike is funny. Cat. Yeah, oh, we're. Um, we're all talking about Mike Cat. Where are you? Uh, where are you from? I'm from Jersey. Oh, okay. And uh, you had me on your blog too. What? What? What did I have you on for? Uh, amazing aggregator. You had my video on there. Oh yeah. That was the that was the Best Buy show. Yeah, that was good stuff. You're like a genius. Am I? Yeah. I appreciate that, sir. <laughs> Is that going to be, you can put that in your, um, your, your Lincoln Park, uh, I could. your signature or on your, your page. I, <laughs> you don't, did, or don't. <laughs> I have no idea. You can put that on, uh, put that as your occupation. Genius. Okay. I will do. All right, man. I'm going to go. Uh, thanks for calling That's and for right. being a moderator and being awesome. Thank you. Okay, bye. All right, you guys, I'm out of here. Um, let's just double check that Chester didn't text me. Okay. He's you know what would be absolute chaos is to somehow conference all of them that. together. Can we do that? Yeah. How do Ready? I do that? Dude, this is going to be chaos, and then we're going to be done. Ready? How do I do? Okay, go ahead. Hello? Okay, Hello. don't don't talk for a oh Hold on, hold on. Don't talk for a second. Here's what we're doing. I don't know if we're going to use... I don't know if we're going to use this. It's chaos. Don't talk! Don't talk! Don't talk! We are now on the line with 10 people who are calling in. Oh my god, this is so much chaos. Is this the most chaos ever? <laughs> yes, I can hear all of you guys. Okay, so... Thank you guys. I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you guys very much for calling. And you're thank awesome. You, and you, I'm going to go. Take off your shirt. Thank you. Bye. Okay, totally. <laughs> Bye. Okay, guys, I'm out. Thank you guys very much for being here forever and ever and ever. And um, you're awesome. And uh, I'm going to go. Okay. Bye.